The standard atomic weight R, standard, a relative atomic mass is the atomic weight R of a chemical element, as appearing and met in the earthly environment. It reflects the variance of natural isotopes and so weight differences of an element. Values are defined by restricted to the IUPAC CIAAW definition of natural, stable, terrestrial sources. It is the most common and practical atomic weight used, for example to determine molar mass. The specified definition is to use many representative sources samples from the Earth, so that the value can widely be used as the atomic weight for real-life substances for example, in pharmaceuticals and scientific research. Atomic weights are specific to single sources and samples of an element, such as the atomic weight of carbon in a particular bone from a particular archaeological site. Standard atomic weight generalizes such values to the range of atomic weights which a chemist might expect to derive from many random samples from Earth. This range is the cause of the interval notation in some standard atomic weight values. Out of the 118 known chemical elements, 84 are stable and have this Earth environment-based value. Typically, such a value is, for example helium, R, standard He. 4.002602 the 2 indicates the uncertainty in the last digit shown to read 4.002602 plus or minus 0.000002 IUPAC also publishes abridged values rounded to five significant figures for helium r abridged he 4.0026 For 12 elements the samples diverge on this value, because their sample sources have had a different decay history. For example, thallium in sedimentary rocks has a different isotopic composition than in igneous rocks and volcanic gases. For these elements, the standard atomic weight is noted as an interval, R, standard 204.0027 204.39. With such an interval, for less demanding situations, IUPAC also publishes an conventional value. For thallium, R, conventional 204.0028 204.0028 the standard atomic weight is thus a more special value of the relative atomic mass. It is defined as the «recommended values» of relative atomic masses of sources in the local environment of the Earth's crust and atmosphere as determined by the IUPAC Commission on Atomic Weights and Isotopic Abundances CIAAW. in general, values from different sources are subject to natural variation due to a different radioactive history of sources. Thus, standard atomic weights are an expectation range of atomic weights from a range of samples or sources. By limiting the sources to terrestrial origin only, the CIAAW determined values have less variance, and are a more precise value for relative atomic masses atomic weights actually found and used in worldly materials. The CIAAW published values are used and sometimes lawfully required in mass calculations. The values have an uncertainty noted in brackets, or are an expectation interval see example in illustration immediately above. This uncertainty reflects natural variability in isotopic distribution for an element, rather than uncertainty in measurement which is much smaller with quality instruments, although there is an attempt to cover the range of variability on Earth with standard atomic weight figures, there are known cases of mineral samples which contain elements with atomic weights that are outliers from the standard atomic weight range. For synthetic elements the isotope form depends on the means of synthesis, so the concept of natural isotope abundance has no meaning. Therefore, for synthetic elements the total nucleon count of the most stable isotope i.e., the isotope with the longest half-life is listed in brackets, in place of the standard atomic weight. When the term, "...atomic weight", is used in chemistry, usually it is the more specific standard atomic weight that is implied. It is standard atomic weights that are used in periodic tables and many standard references in ordinary terrestrial chemistry. 
Lithium represents a unique case where the natural abundances of the isotopes have in some cases been found to have been perturbed by human isotopic separation activities to the point of affecting the uncertainty in its standard atomic weight, even in samples obtained from natural sources, such as rivers, citation needed, dubious. Terrestrial definition an example of why conventional terrestrial sources must be specified in giving standard atomic weight values is the element argon. Between locations in the Solar System, the atomic weight of argon varies as much as 10%, due to extreme variance in isotopic composition. Where the major source of argon is the decay of 40K in rocks, 40R will be the dominant isotope. Such locations include the planets Mercury and Mars, and the Moon Titan. On Earth the ratios of the three isotopes 36R, 38R, 40R are approximately 5 to 1, 1600, giving terrestrial argon a standard atomic weight of 39.948-1. This atomic weight is larger than that of the next element potassium, causing confusion in the days when the places of elements in the periodic table was largely determined according to atomic weight. However, such is not the case in the rest of the universe. Argon produced directly by stellar nucleosynthesis, is dominated by the alpha process nuclide 36R. Correspondingly, solar argon contains 84.6% 36R according to solar wind measurements, and the ratio of the three isotopes 36R, 38R, 40R in the atmospheres of the outer planets is 8400, 1600 to 1. The atomic weight of argon in the Sun and most of the universe, therefore, would be only approximately 36.3. Causes of uncertainty on Earth Famously, the published atomic weight value comes with an uncertainty. This uncertainty and related, precision follows from its definition, the source being, "...terrestrial and stable". Systematic causes for uncertainty are Measurement limits as always, the physical measurement is never finite. There is always more detail to be found and read. This applies to every single, pure isotope found. For example, today the mass of the main natural fluorine isotope can be measured to the accuracy of 11 decimal places, 18.998403163 But a still more precise measurement system could become available, producing more decimals. Imperfect mixtures of isotopes in the samples taken and measured the mix relative abundance of those isotopes may vary. For example copper. While in general its two isotopes make out 69.15% and 30.85% each of all copper found, the natural sample being measured can have had an incomplete stirring. And so the percentages are different. The precision is improved by measuring more samples of course, but there remains this cause of uncertainty. Example, lead samples vary so much, it cannot be noted more precise than four figures, 207.2 Earthly sources with a different history. A source is the greater area being researched, for example, "...ocean water", or "...volcanic rock", as opposed to a "...sample". The single heap of material being investigated. It appears that some elements have a different isotopic mix per source. For example, thallium in igneous rock has more lighter isotopes, while in sedimentary rock it has more heavy isotopes. There is no earthly mean number. These elements show the interval notation, R, standard TL equals 204.38, 204.39. For practical reasons, a simplified, conventional, Number is published too for TL, 204.38. These three uncertainties are accumulative. The published value is a result of all these. Determination of relative atomic mass Modern relative atomic masses a term specific to a given element sample are calculated from measured values of atomic mass for each nuclide and isotopic composition of a sample. Highly accurate atomic masses are available for virtually all non-radioactive nuclides, but isotopic compositions are both harder to measure to high precision and more subject to variation between samples. For this reason, the relative atomic masses of the 22 mononucleidic elements which are the same as the isotopic masses for each of the single naturally occurring nuclides of these elements are known to especially high accuracy. 
For example, there is an uncertainty of only one part in 38 million for the relative atomic mass of fluorine, a precision which is greater than the current best value for the Avogadro constant one part in 20 million. The calculation is exemplified for silicon, whose relative atomic mass is especially important in metrology. Silicon exists in nature as a mixture of three isotopes, 28C, 29C and 30C. The atomic masses of these nuclides are known to a precision of one part in 14 billion for 28C and about one part in 1 billion for the others. However the range of natural abundance for the isotopes is such that the standard abundance can only be given to about plus or minus 0.001% The calculation is Argon monosilicide 27.97693 times 0.922297 plus 28.97649 times 0.046832 plus 29.97377 times 0.030872. 28.0854 The estimation of the uncertainty is complicated, especially as the sample distribution is not necessarily symmetrical, the IUPAC standard relative atomic masses are quoted with estimated symmetrical uncertainties, and the value for silicon is 28.0855-3. The relative standard uncertainty in this value is 1 times 10 to 5 or 10 ppm. To further reflect this natural variability, in 2010, IUPAC made the decision to list the relative atomic masses of 10 elements as an interval rather than a fixed number. Naming controversy The use of the name, "'atomic weight' has attracted a great deal of controversy among scientists. Objectors to the name usually prefer the term, "'relative atomic mass' not to be confused with atomic mass. The basic objection is that atomic weight is not a weight, that is the force exerted on an object in a gravitational field, measured in units of force such as the newton or poundal. In reply, supporters of the term, "'atomic weight' point out among other arguments that the name has been in continuous use for the same quantity since it was first conceptualized in 1808 For most of that time, atomic weights really were measured by weighing that is by gravimetric analysis and the name of a physical quantity should not change simply because the method of its determination has changed the term relative atomic mass should be reserved for the mass of a specific nuclide or isotope while atomic weight be used for the weighted mean of the atomic masses over all the atoms in the sample it is not uncommon to have misleading names of physical quantities which are retained for historical reasons such as electromotive force which is not a force resolving power which is not a power quantity Molar concentration, which is not a molar quantity a quantity expressed per unit amount of substance, it could be added that atomic weight is often not truly «atomic» either, as it does not correspond to the property of any individual atom. The same argument could be made against «relative atomic mass» used in this sense. Published values IUPAC publishes one formal value for each stable element, called the standard atomic weight. Any updates are published biannually in uneven years. The last change was published in 2015, setting a new value for ytterbium in 2017. No changes were published. The value published can have an uncertainty be an interval like for neon, 20.1797 or can be an interval, like for boron, 10.806, 10.821. Next to these 84 values, IUPAC also publishes abridged values up to five digits per number only, and for the 12 interval values, conventional values single number values. Symbol R is a relative atomic mass, for example from a specific sample. To be specific, the standard atomic weight can be noted as R, standard e, where e is the element symbol. Abridged atomic weight 
The abridged atomic weight, also published by CIAAW, is derived from the standard atomic weight reducing the numbers to five digits five significant figures. The name does not say, "...rounded". Interval borders are rounded downwards for the first lowmost border, and upwards for the upward upmost border. This way, the more precise original interval is fully covered. Examples: calcium R standard Ca 40.0784 R abridged Ca 40.078 helium R standard He 4.002602 R abridged he 4.0026 hydrogen R standard H 1.00784 1.00811 R abridged H 1.0078, 1.0082 Conventional atomic weight Twelve chemical elements have a standard atomic weight that is defined not as a single number, but as an interval. For example, hydrogen has R, standard H. 1 1.00784, 1.00811 this notation states that the various sources on Earth have substantially different isotopic constitutions, and uncertainties are incorporated in the two numbers. For these elements, there is not an «Earth average» constitution, and the «right» value is not its middle that would be 1.007975 for hydrogen, with an uncertainty of plus or minus 0.000135 that would make it just cover the interval. However, for situations where a less precise value is acceptable, CIAAW has published a single number conventional atomic weight that can be used for example in trade. For hydrogen, R, conventional H. 1.008. The twelve elements are, hydrogen, lithium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, magnesium, silicon, sulfur, chlorine, bromine and thallium a formal short atomic weight. By using the abridged value, and the conventional value for the 12 interval values, a short IUPAC defined value five digits plus uncertainty can be given for all stable elements. In many situations, and in periodic tables, this may be sufficiently detailed. List of atomic weights In the periodic table. See also International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, Commission on Isotopic Abundances and Atomic Weights. References External links IUPAC Commission on Isotopic Abundances and Atomic Weights NIST Relative Atomic Masses of All Isotopes and the Standard Atomic Weights of the Elements Atomic Weights of the Elements 2011